Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. I made a video a minute ago on the Ukrainians and the Americans confirming that the Russians indeed damaged the Patriot System 1 in um, Kiev after the 16th of May's night attack. Well, they say that uh, the Patriot System has insignificant damages, just a little bit of <gasps> it's gonna be okay, but uh, then it's gonna, it's gonna be operational. So finally the American experts uh, showed up at the site and said, oh it's fine, it's just blown up. Well, I just made a video regarding that. Uh, I have, I had four articles that I used in that uh, video just to show you how they lied from impossible to, to destroy a Patriot system to no, zero was destroyed to insignificant damage to damage but operational. I'm waiting for the next one. Uh, damaged in operational and the other one would be destroyed. I'm waiting for the next two, step, two steps. But in the meantime, I have the Russians. Disclaimer, time out. Everybody's lying, okay? So I have the Russians coming out and saying actually they did not blow up one Patriot uh, system. No, no, no. They destroyed five. <laughs> That's what the Russians claim. And I have here two articles to uh, use in order to um, support their claim. Well, I'm not going to support it, but I'm just going to let you know what they said. So let's start with the Ukrainian article first. It comes from Ukrainska Pravda and it's from one hour ago. Russia stated that its Kenzal destroyed five pitch. Patriot missile system launchers with one attack. When one attack could be on attack, uh, 20 missiles. Here's Mr. Shoigu. <laughs> he looks like a, uh, like a what kind of a little, uh, like a panda. It's like a panda. <laughs> like a Shoigu. I just, I'm just guessing. <laughs> All right. The Russian Defense Ministry claims that five launchers of the American Patriot air defense systems were, and I'm quoting, completely destroyed by a hypersonic Kinzhal strike on 16th of May in Kiev. And I'm quoting, according to reliably confirmed data on 16th of May, as a result of the strike by the Kinzhal hypersonic missile system on Kiev, a mal multifunctional radar station was hit and completely destroyed, as well as five launchers of the Patriot anti-aircraft missile system manufactured in the United States. Wow, so five launchers. Well, five launchers being on one unit, is that how it is? I'm assuming. Background. The Ministry of Defense of Russia has previously stated that on 16th of May, the Patriot was allegedly hit by a high-precision strike on Kinzhal in of the Kinzhal in Kiev. Yes, and you guys said, no, it was nothing. The Air, the Air Force of Ukraine said that the Patriot anti-aircraft missile system cannot be destroyed with a single strike. Why is that? Even if it's a Kinzhal missile. Well, I know it's, a, it's, a, uh, it's not one piece, but anyway. The Armed Forces added that on the contrary, it was the Patriots that shot down six Kinzhal missiles near Kiev on May 16th. At the same time, the American TV channel CNN learned that the Patriot air defense system near Kiev did suffer damage, but is minimal. The U.S. stressed the air defense system is in operating condition because the U.S. technicians showed up at the site from the hotel they showed up or maybe from the surrounding area. <laughs> All right, so this is what the Ukrainians said and this is what the Russians are saying. Sputnik, Sputnik from one hour ago. Wow, those guys were faster? Let me see. One hour ago, they, they are together. They work together, man. These guys are working together. <laughs> Kinzhal missile strike destroyed five Patriot launchers in Kiev, Russia. Uh, reports, right? While Kiev claimed it had intercepted six Kinzhals, Russian Defense Minister Sergei Shoigu told Sputnik in an interview that Ukrainian reports are mistaken in every regard, noting that only a couple of Russian missiles were enough to penetrate Kiev, Kiev defenses. And I'm quoting, according to verified information, as a result of a strike by the Kinzhal hypersonic missile system in the city of Kiev, a multifunctional radar station, 
as well as five launchers of the Patriot Antar aircraft missile system manufactured by the United States were hit and completely destroyed on May 16, 2023, end quote, the Russian Defense Ministry said. So this is the Kinzhal right here, and this is a MiG-31. All right, the Kinzhal dagger is one of the new strategic weapons unveiled by Russian President Vladimir Putin in March 2018, its first enter combat, it first enter combat duty in December 2017. Wait a minute, it unveiled by Russian President in March 2018, its first enter combat duty in December 2017, hey boy, <laughs> kind of no, <laughs> if you know what I mean. Seeing extensive flight and combat testing, the nuclear-capable weapon was the first hypersonic missile system to be uh, fielded, fielded by any country. The Kinzhal has a range of more than 2,000 kilometers, 1,200 miles. It is capable of reaching a speed of up to Mach 10, that's 12,250 kilometers per hour or 7,612 mile per, miles per hour, while also performing evasive maneuvers which helps the Kinzhal to be virtually invulnerable to enemy air missile defense systems. All right, so this is what these guys reported. And um, as I said at the beginning, they all lie. Now, how are we going to figure it out? Maybe in about five, six, seven years, when data will be allowed to be released to the public, that means us, and uh, just uh, some people that have the information right now. I'm, I'm, I'm I mean, obviously, people have information right now. They know exactly how many were damaged or any on both both sides. It's just that they will not give it to us. Why would they give us? Um, I mean, just look at the Ukrainians. The Ukrainians tell us about the, how many uh, Russian losses are, but they're not going to tell us how many losses they have. Um, you know, that's kind of like a weasel thing, but it's a war. What do you want? Propaganda. And not only propaganda, but, uh, you know, the first victim in a war is truth. That's the first victim. And then uh, everything else follows. Uh, I said 98, 99%, I said probability that a Kinzhal blew up a Patriot system. Possibility 100%. It's possible that a Patriot will be destroyed. Now, regarding the other way around, if a Patriot can destroy a Kinzhal, I would give it maybe 5%. And why do I, uh, why am I so bad about it? It's because you have to read the specifications, the, the, the technical specifications, like a car. You know, when you got to buy a car, uh, the weasel is going to tell you, hey, buy this car. It can drive, I don't know, 300 kilometers per hour. Oh, really? Can I have the specification the book? No, no. Hey, where are you going? Hey, give me the, give me the fucking book right here. And look, about that. it goes maximum of 120 miles. But let's say it's about 200 kilometers. So smack no i don't buy it because you're a liar so if you lie me about this one you're gonna lie me about everything else it's fair to assume so the same here they can tell me the patriot is good the patriot is that it has specifications it has limitations like the kinzal has limitations they say up to mac 10 up to that's a limitation the same with the radar with the um, patriot radar not only to the radar with the radar but also what kind of missiles the radar has the radar the patriot system has I mean, it's, it's the analogy I give with Bruce Lee. I know the, ooh, when I was a, a kid, we were you know, uh, dumber then. We're still dumb, but not as dumb as we were as uh, unfinished uh, humans as a child. And uh, as children, we're talking about, hey, uh, do you know that Bruce Lee actually uh, can, uh, was able to block a bullet coming towards him if someone shoot a bullet? Oh, yeah, I won't know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So the same thing. I'm the, the Bruce Lee. Let's say Bruce Lee was the Patriot system and the Kinzhal was the bullet shot by a, a pistol. Well, you can be fast as fuck. You're not going to be faster than a bullet. All right. That's the first one. The second one, you cannot have the radar to see the bullet coming. So even if you would be very fast to block it, either way you want to block it, I want to do it. You know, you will not see it to block it. So kind of the same way it is, you know, like the, the frequency, you know, the, let's say you have the uh, low frequency, um, uh, like the, um, how do you call them, elephants, they communicate through low frequency uh, s s with a sound, you know, and it's uh, the same. You can hear our ear cannot the brain does get it, but you know because it hears it. But you don't have you don't you don't understand it. You don't, per, your perception doesn't get it, but it's there, so it's below, but it's still there. 
Uh, you don't know if uh, they communicate. The same with a uh, bat. The bat's high, high uh, frequency. So then high frequency, our ear connects. I mean, detects only this. That's the whole field. And above, mm -mm, and below, mm -mm. so the, the elephant goes below. The bats, for instance, go high. They can communicate as much as they want. We're like, Hoo -doo 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 -doo, and the guys are flying around us. You know what I mean? So the same here. Uh, yeah, they could be, but they could not figure things out. Even if they would catch it, oh, Kinzali is coming. You have to send this, you have to send it to intercept it, if you can intercept it. But it's hard because if this goes so fast, it's hard to maneuver it to catch it. But anyway, that's why I give it 5%. Not impossible, but very unprobable. Probable. So, 5, not 1. Do I think they destroyed 5? If that's 5 launchers, on one little uh, tractor, or how do you want to call it, chassis, then yeah, it's one unit, boom, and has five, uh, you know, launchers. But if it's five different ones, I don't know. But I think they refer to five launchers, like this is one launcher with one missile, two, three, four. I don't think one launcher is the whole unit of whatever, let's, I can't remember how many they have, like 10 or something, 10 of 12 or eight, maybe 10. So. We'll find out in five years. I'll let you know. <laughs> if I'm still alive and you are still alive. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth and be just.